What's up guys, so today I want to go through my thoughts on Black Ops 4 five months later. So, in the past five months we've had three new operations, two new specialists and a bunch of balancing changes and, you know, new stuff and all of that kind of stuff. So, five months went pretty quickly, I'm not going to lie. And today I kind of just want to go through and talk about what I think, you know, how is the game doing, you know, do I like it, do I not like it, what I like about the game, what I don't like, all of that kind of stuff. So, Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, I'm going to talk about each of the three modes separately, and we're going to start with the multiplayer. Now, overall, my kind of overall opinion on multiplayer is that I really enjoy it. I think multiplayer is the best game mode, in my personal opinion, because I have the most fun, I have the most enjoyment, I spend the most amount of time on it, and I must like it to get to Prestige Master, because if I didn't like the game, then I, still, I wouldn't still be playing it. Now, I kind of want to just go through, like, you know, everything that I you would like to see changed or what I like about. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is specialists. Now, obviously, specialists are kind of a controversial topic in the Call of Duty community because, you know, some people love them, some people don't love them. Um, I know specialists are kind of annoying because it's kind of like a free kill, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like, if you get a grab slam, you just press a button and even the worst player can get kills, if that makes sense. Um, some people just want to see specialists removed completely, but I quite like them, you know, it adds a little more variety and personality to your playstyle, if you know what I mean. Ones like Ruin can be quite annoying, um, for their grab slam, because it is just kind of a cheap kill, but something like Outrider's Sparrow or Seraph's Annihilator, they, they require accuracy and skill to use and to do well, so that's why I like some specialists, but... There's one specialist that I think everyone can agree that just needs to be just just nerfed or removed or something. That's Zero. Now, Zero is so annoying for two reasons. And those two reasons are her Disruptor and her Ice Pick. So, I want to go through each of them. I can't talk about what I hate about them because I really despise this character. Now, her Disruptor disrupts things for way too long and disrupts things that shouldn't even be disrupted. So... Let's say, for example, a sentry gun or a barricade. If you throw a disruptor, that will completely disable the, the barricade and the sentry gun until destruction. So, it's not like it's a quick 10 seconds and then it comes back on and then it starts shooting again. It stays disrupted and it stays on the map for like um, 2 minutes or 3 minutes and then it just goes away. Like, what? what's the point? I mean, I get her special ability is supposed to be powerful because it's an ability, but... It costs no creator class points, and everyone can get one. And for it to just disable and destroy the thing completely, that is way too overpowered, and I want to see that change. Now, in terms of destroying stuff like mesh mines and, say, hawks, for example, that's not really a big issue, honestly. If it, like, destroys them like an RCXD, that's not too bad, because, you know, that doesn't really cost a lot. But if you throw it on the ground, it dis disrupts a mantis, let's say. That takes a long time to actually get. And if that just disrupts and then just gets destroyed, then that's just gonna, it's just so annoying. So, let's move on to the Ice Pick. Now, the Ice Pick is the worst, most cancerous ability in the game because you literally, you get it for free without doing anything. You can sit at the back of the map the whole game and you'll get one. And if you work really hard to get a sniper's nest, an attack chopper, even a gunship, someone can sit in the back of the map in a house, hold X and take or destroy them. The thing that you worked so hard to get. A gunship is like 1600 score. So you need to go on a 16 kill streak at least to get one. And someone just presses a button and it's gone. Like just like that. So obviously there's no good in me sitting here and saying what's bad about it. Instead of giving a solution. So I think what it should do is it should disrupt players first. The ice pick. It needs to be slower. So if you guys didn't know that the ice pick it, like kind of goes through players and disrupts them, it needs to do that first, and then it needs to do specialist abilities and equipment, like say the barricade and the mesh mines and that kind of stuff, and then it needs to do score streaks because if you can get there in time, you can save your score streaks and save specialist equipment, but your map is fuzzy, which isn't that that big of an issue. But if like as soon as they press it. You can have your barricade and your mesh mines and everything taken, but the only thing you save is your player, like, disruption. And that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, I think we need to get that changed. Trout won't be watching this, but hopefully we can kind of speak to them and, like, say to them, you know, this needs to be changed because it's not very clever. Now, 
let's move on to the next thing I want to talk about, and that's gun balancing. Now, gun balancing, I think, is alright for the most part. I wouldn't say it's perfect, I wouldn't say it's good or great, but it's alright. So, we have, for the most part, you can use most weapons and do well with them. There's ones like, say, the Outlaw or the RK7 or the Mozu, I just wouldn't use, personally. Um, I know the Mozu is pretty good, because that's Skull Splitter. But, um, I just, I, I don't really, like, think that it's too bad, the weapon balancing, because you can go, like, all the assault rifles are viable, pretty much all the SMGs are viable, a lot of things are viable, but there's one gun that you guys know I'm going to mention that everyone hates and it needs a nerf, and that is the Titan. Now, everyone still uses Thermal Titan with FMJ2 sitting in a window looking raining hell on everybody and it's just so annoying because it has no recoil it has a really fast rate of fire and it does a load of damage it does like 35 damage per shot and it has a really high fire rate like considering that damage and recoil so what i want to see changed about the titan is the recoil needs to be nerfed so it does more recoil and um the damage needs nerf as well the damage needs to go down to like i'd say like 30 or like 28 Keep the fire rate the same and give it a little bit more recoil so it's harder to use. The LMGs are kind of like a noob friendly class in my opinion. Like, a noob can jump on, pick up a titan and do really well with it because they're really noob friendly. But if you get someone like a pro, like not pro but like someone who knows what they're doing on the game to use one, then they will just tear everybody up and it's just really annoying honestly. So, that's one thing I don't like about the, gu the guns. Now... Let's move on. Now, the score streaks, I don't really think there are any imperfections in the score streaks. All of them, for the most part, are balanced. The only thing I would say is the drone squad could do with another buff. I'm pretty sure it's had a nerf recently, and it just doesn't do what it used to, so that could do with a buff. But other than that, all the score streaks are fine, nothing's wrong. Now, the next two things, um, well, the next thing, actually, is to do with equipment. Now, all the equipment is fine. I have no problems with equipment, except the body armor. The body armor needs to die. It needs to be deleted. Get rid of it. No one wants it in multiplayer whatsoever, apart from the noobs that use titans. And that's about all I have to say, um, I think, for the armor. It just needs to be deleted. Get rid of it. It, re it requires no skill. Someone with body armor can beat, like a noob with body armor can beat a pro without it. And it's, it just sucks, really. So... Let's move on. The final thing is the time to kill and the XP earn rate. And I think that um, the time to kill is fine. I know a lot of people say that 150 health, you know, it's going to take forever to kill someone. And then you get those situations as well where you just die instantly. You're like, what happened? So if you've got that kind of balance where you're questioning why it's so long and you're questioning why it's so quick, then that's a good time to kill. And the final thing is the XP earn rate. Now, this I'm springing this up because in Ghosts especially, it took ages to rank up and everyone complained about it. And I think it's good in this game, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like a drag to level up. And, um, you know, I think it's okay. So, all in all, that's my review on multiplayer. And I think... Personally, I love the game mode. I have so much fun on it and also hate it sometimes for the reasons I've specified. But other than that, I love the game mode and I think it'll live forever. I think it'll be under the Black Ops 3 this game, honestly. Because Black Ops 3, although it had its problems like this game, it lasted for a full three years until this game came out. Black Ops 3, I played with my primary game up until this game. So hopefully, this can stand true for this game as well. Now, the next two game modes, because I've spent about 10 minutes talking about multiplayer, I'm not going to spend as long on the next two, and partly is because the I don't want the video to be ages, and also because I don't play this game mode, these game modes too often. Now, let's move on to Blackout. Now, like I said, this is going to be a quick kind of like note down my thoughts kind of review. Now, Blackout, I haven't really been enjoying recently. I haven't really like felt the the desire to play it. And whenever I did feel that desire, I kind of got in, played a couple games, got kind of angry and just wouldn't touch it for a while. Now, that is kind of how I felt until I got this gameplay that you're seeing in the background. This gameplay is Hot Pursuit. I went into a match on my own, um, just get a little bit of footage for the background. And I personally really enjoyed this match. I ended up coming out fifth with 11 kills or so. And it was a lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. So... Blackout, I, like I said, I wasn't really feeling it, but after this game, I've kind of changed, I've 
I've kind of changed my mind a little bit. I'm not gonna lie because Blackout, it, like, it's very, it's a battle royale game, and I haven't really been feeding battle royale games recently. But um, ba and Blackout is, you know, recording this gameplay. I had a ton of fun playing it, so you know, I really enjoyed it, and I think I'm gonna start getting back into it because I was kind of gonna write, um, well, kind of talk of like critical negative review on Blackout, kind of saying like it's not the best, but. There is one thing I still want to talk about, and that is the time to kill, like, when you're being down. So, the time to kill, like, from being down to being fully out is very quick, I'm not going to lie. Because you go from standing up to being down and out, like, really quickly. And I just feel like that needs to be changed. There needs to be some kind of immunity phase in between when you actually get killed, like, knocked, and when you actually get fully killed, like, a three-second phase, like, Fortnite, and... I just feel like that's how it needs to be, really. But um, other than that, I actually am really enjoying back, um, Blackout recently. I don't know why, and I don't know how, but I am. So, the final thing is zombies. Now, what do I think of zombies? Zombies, for the most part, is good. It seems like a solid game mode, but Treyarch have neglected it so much. It feels so unloved by Treyarch, and I feel like the community feels the same way. Um, because, you know, a lot of people say it's the most neglected game mode, they don't get much happening with them, and you get your gauntlet modes, you get your new maps, but it just, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little more left out, and left out the cycle. Um, for me personally, I, I'm not interested in the Chaos Story at all. The Chaos Story um, with Bruno and the old guy and all them, I'm not interested in it at all, I'm, I don't care. Um, I just want more Ether maps, honestly. It seems that all the DLC in the future is going to be based on the Chaos Story. And if that's the case, then I probably just will stick to Blood of the Dead. Or maybe just not play the game mode at all. So, unless we get some Ether maps, then I'll, pro I'll probably just leave it alone. They have talked about doing another, um, what was it called? The fifth DLC in Black Ops 3, Zombies Chronicles. They were talking about doing something like that in this game. And if they do that just for Ether maps... Um, then I will actually love the zombies mode and it will be a lot of fun. So that's good about doing for my review on Black Ops 4. Now I want to give my kind of my overall opinion on the whole game. Now is it a bad game? No. By far it is not a bad game. I think this is, pro this is probably my highlight of 2018 in terms of games. I think this is probably one of the best games of 2018. But I feel like why some people don't like it is because it changes a lot. Like the health, the manual healing you know, guns, it has no campaign, all of that kind of stuff, so that's why some people don't like it, but I personally love the game, and I can see myself playing this for ages, but uh, that's good about do it for me, if you have any thoughts, leave them down below, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, see you then.